Good morning. Afternoon. Sorry. Good afternoon, and thanks for joining me, everyone. Many thanks for your patience. I had uh, doctor's appointments earlier in the day, and I've got a very... It's just my day is crazy right now. I've tried to organize and arrange everything so that I can be here in front of the camera today, but I might get interrupted a number of times. So just bear that in mind. Um, I'm going to do what I can, but I'm probably going to have to get up a couple of times during the broadcast to answer some questions and, and deal with um, admin, so to speak. That said, welcome to Starfield broadcast number 41. It's time to get back to it and continue exploring all of the places that we overlooked, that we skipped while doing the primary plot. Good to see everybody on Facebook today, Toby, Noble, Roman, uh, and it's great to see everyone on Twitch. Dirtbag Daryl, Voice Beast, Talon1781. I see all of your sparks and your raids and your follows on Twitch when I'm uh, offline, and I appreciate all of you. And of course, it's great to see all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon supporters on YouTube today. Layla, Spellwood, Paul, Denise, Raymond, Greymane, Nonsense, Dark Lord, Ant444, Automatic Beats, Sebastian Sanchez, uh, John DeGM, Berardino, DJ Ware, Bulb, Slatty, Bartfast, Mark, Mark Fogarty, and Super, uh, Super Taram, with the first super chat of the day, says, Hi, Ox, did you bring enough chunks for everyone? I did! They finally arrived. Um, so this, I blame Rachel. This is what Rachel sent to me. And I'm, I'm honestly really disappointed with this particular Etsy seller. Uh, that said, there's still a lot of wonderful stuff about it. Uh, so here's one of them. This is a Chunks apple. It's a, it's a square apple. My kids loved this. Just absolutely loved it. The reason I'm disappointed with this particular Etsy seller is every single one of them came bent. Uh, and this one in particular looks like it has been vacuum sealed, which caused the cardboard to bend. It, it's just really, really shoddy um, craftsmanship, I guess I should say. But the, uh, the chunk on the inside is interesting. I mean, it clearly doesn't look like a real apple. It looks like a a 3D printed apple that's been painted. But from a distance, from a distance, it looks like a chunk. There's my poached egg chunk. Uh, the reflection is making it difficult to see because of the light. Here you go, this is a pumpkin pie. A pumpkin pie chunk. Yeah, it looks like a big old slice of pumpkin pie. A big old square chunk of pumpkin pie. There's another one, red cheesecake. This one is just gnarly. Look at the packaging there. It just got abs. And the box was perfect. This has nothing to do with the box. It's uh, It was vacuum sealed or something. Like They sucked all of the air out of this packaging, which caused the cardboard to deform. Uh, my plan was to keep it in the package. I didn't want to take them out. But the packaging is so damaged, I'm probably just going to have to take them out. That was the red cheesecake. And these actually turned out really well. Look at that. Bandages. Bandages. And they are actual bandages. I mean, I'm sure she just found some gauze <laughs> at the local market and, and stuffed it in this, uh, this printed bandages package. And then check this out. Heel paste. When my son saw this, he was horrified. He's like, that's how you heal people in the Starfield universe with heel paste ew and look at that image it looks like thermal paste it looks like a thermal paste injector <laughs> for your cpu it's so bizarre and there it is the weird thing is that the actual syringe that we get it doesn't look anything like the image right so i mean this is the way it works with etsy you, you, you gotta pick and choose and sometimes the sellers don't pay quite as much attention to detail as uh as they should. So the actual syringe doesn't look anything like the thermal paste injector on the image on the front. Uh, but there it is. It's uh, it's a syringe, and it's got some sort of uh, uh, blue fluid on the inside. And yeah, these are these are so much fun. I love 
I love chunks. I wish the packaging weren't ruined. But aside from that, these are just so cute and fun. And I wish I could collect them all. I want all of the chunks in the game. They're great. Way better than Sisty Picks. Dr. Root set a gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Dr. Root. And congratulations to Heather R., Crimson Bolt, Chris, Ty V, and Smiling Dreamer Gaming. CMDR Sonak became a silver ox. Thank you, CMDR Commander Sonak. Layla Spellwind says, Hello, Oxhorn. Been loving your videos. Just stopped by to thank you and wish you a lovely day. Much love to the audience. You all have a great taste. Thank you, Layla. I mean, I, I, I'd like to think that everybody watching right now has exemplary taste. That's that's what I believe. I'll go ahead and, uh, and believe that one. Thank you, Layla. Twilight Phoenix on Twitch says, What up, fam? Good to see you, Twilight Phoenix. The Elder Irish says, Hi, Oxhorn and Chad Hather. The Elder Irish. Stacy on Facebook says, Seeing it in real life. I'd vote. No thanks. Yeah, the square apple. Does that... Uh, does that not do it for you? Though I have to say these are way smaller in real life than they would be if they were one to one scale. The chunks in the Starfield universe, each chunk is the size of the palm of your hand. They're huge, right? These are just tiny. They're teeny, teeny, tiny. I understand why they didn't make them one to one scale, you know, save on resources, but eventually somebody on Etsy will make one to one scale, one to one ratio chunks, and I will be there for them. <laughs> when they're there. Talon1781 says the only chunk that looks good is the pumpkin pie. It does. It looks just like a, a square slice of pumpkin pie. Mr. Red says, I went into Courier's Mile and was wondering why I was taking so much rads. I realized that the hazmat suit from Old World Blues doesn't protect against rads. Is that is that right? So it's a hazmat suit, not a radiation suit. The hazmat suit just protects against biological contaminants. I see. Greg Williams on YouTube says, What do you call a broke Santa Claus? Saint Nicholas. Also, I'm finding Veronica as a companion in New Vegas really helpful. She's awesome. Yeah, Veronica is great. She's a, a great little companion. Equip her in a full suit of power armor with a power fist. Oh my God, she just tears things up. St. Nicholas. Josh Bunton is on Twitch today. Good to see you on Twitch today, Josh Bunton. Okay, let's fire it up. Here we go. Now, when we last left our hero, we had just finished exploring an abandoned mine, and I don't believe I actually had time to finish everything I wanted to do. I feel like I was rushed at the end, and so I raced through it, so I'm gonna quickly go back into the mining complex just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I don't think I did. I think I got everything. I understood the layout of the entire place. Um, but, uh, let's see, we went down there. And then we came up somewhere. No, this is the way we came up. And the reason I feel like I've got to be missing something is because the story of this huge and sprawling, really interesting place is minimal. Uh, really, the only story is a prank. Was it a prank? It was, uh, yeah, we explored all of this. 
It was, we don't learn about what they were mining. We don't learn anything about the alien organisms that we see having created homes in, in the rocks. All we get is a little uh, prank about somebody dying from eating too much. See, this is what I wanted to learn about. We get these, but no follow-up. We see these little layers with blood and scratch marks, but we don't understand what they are. And another confusing thing about this is we find spacers all over the place. So these guys clearly died from the pirates. The pirates invaded the mining facility and killed everyone. And yet we find these layers with blood and claw marks, almost as if whoever designed this dungeon got confused about the story they were trying to tell. Are we telling the story that they uncovered some sort of creature? That they delved too deeply and too greedily and released something into the mine? Or are we gonna tell the story that a bunch of spacers came and attacked the mine and killed everybody? They couldn't figure out which one they wanted to do, so they did both. But yeah, I'm not finding any other uh, side passages. We already found uh, that. We looted that crate over there. And I think we got all of the lore. Super Taram says, uh, have you seen the new Fallout TV series photos from the Vanity Fair article yet? I can't believe how good the special slash practical effects are looking. I haven't seen them yet. I'm really excited about them. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that uh, uh, before the show on Thursday. But I'm really excited to see what they have, what they've put together for us. Project Journeyman says, looking good and a bit warmer this week. Yeah, I've got my window open. It's definitely warmer today. Right. <coughs> oh, need a moment to walk that off. Yeah, here's another one. And we've got more dead miners down here by this hole. But it's not really a hole. There's a giant rock filling it with a, a unicorn slash rhino skull on the ground, a creature pile full of gold and amino acids. But we never get a payoff. We never learn exactly what this is. So I think that's it. Let's get out of here and move on to the next one. Trails of blood. go down here all the way to the bottom. I think we did. Yeah, this is going to be our way out. <laughs> That's the ruined elevator. They never fixed. The staircase. That just goes up to the platform we left. And then this connects back to the main room. Okay. That is the abandoned mine. Uh, wait, where are my notes? There we go. The 
Bandit mine. Minimal lore. Right. Surely, steadily but surely, we will get through all of them. Now, what's next? I believe there was another one. Yeah, we've got an abandoned research tower. Is that on my list? No, it's not, so I've never done it. Let's do it. Abandoned research tower. Another planet without native life. All we need to concern ourselves with, then, is other visitors. Yeah, that's another problem with the abandoned mine. Because we definitely found blood and alien creature skulls in a bunch of slimy burrows on a planet that has no native life. Another problem with the uh, randomly generated nature of these things. Some sort of science facility. A rather unique design. I wonder if it is for show or serves some particular purpose. I believe we've explored one of these in the past. This looks familiar. I believe we've explored one of these in the past. Alright, I'm just gonna explore it enough to verify whether or not we've done this before. As I recall, there was no lore. Wade Speakerman gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Wade! And congratulations to Matt D., James Trucker, Ryan Spencer, Matthew Smith, and Ash. Yeah, I remember this. And I remember it was surprising. It was surprisingly larger than it looked on the outside. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Spacers. Gotta go up here to observation. Seems oh, like cool. <laughs> someone's out there. No, so now. Shoot the kill.
Take your best shot. God, when my flashlight's t off, it's too dark. When it's on, it's too light. Ship repair fundamentals, we read that. So we're not getting any interesting lore. Shadows in the attic, bleak house. I don't think any of these terminals work, if I recall from last time. Super Terem says, look for the planet data console to get some data. All right, will do. So it's the cafeteria. Go ahead. Uh, nope. Coward. All right, that does go down. Probably leads to one of those emergency doors. Xeno warfare tech. having a blast. Drunk. <laughs> I will eat all the foods. You cannot beat me. Is that it for the cafeteria? Oh, yeah. You mess with me? See, look at that. The chunk is the size of your of the palm of your fist, right? Compare that to this, and it's just like an it's like a sugar cube. Yeah, look at that. Chunks Cola. It's huge. I see what they were trying to do. Because the chunk is vacuum sealed to the cardboard backing. But the vacuum sealing they did was too powerful and it bent the cardboard backing. Nobody's gonna miss you. Bring it. All right, did we go to observation? I forget which way. To, uh, we need to go up here. Too much heat. Move. I never oh. liked him anyway. I've had enough of this. Too oh. easy. Time to die. Best not to leave anything useful behind. I'm just so over hacking right now. 
I just don't even want to do it. I got better shit to do than looking for you. There you go. That's the chunk's cake. I mean, it looks amazing. It looks so good. And it's huge. It's the size of your fist. You picked the wrong... <laughs> All right, keeping an eye out for the planetary data. Too damn close. There we go. Open doors. Move it. Light him up. You won't get me though. Oh. They're all behind me. Must be in an adjoining room. Project Journeyman says we come in peace, shoot to kill, lol. Cannot change the laws of physics, Captain. Star trekking across the universe. Right, do I have any grenades equipped? I've, I've tried to sh use my grenade option in it. I don't think I have any equipped. Yeah, let's do frag grenades. I got a lot of heavy ones here. All right, here's the data, right? No, another door status. Well, then where's the data? How did I miss it? It's probably behind one of those expert locked doors that I just don't have the patience to deal with right now. Or maybe we'll find it. But uh, I think I've done this one already. Alexander Dale says, Perk Magazine, beside computer, where you open the door? Oh my god, yeah. Constellation Guide 2. Nice. I love planets with low gravity, but I always sprain my ankles on them. <sighs> Sample vault. we go. Planet data console. Download collected planet data. Data for solar storms seasons downloaded. Great. Take a moment. See if there is anything here we should take. I think that's it. This leads to research. Did we go through here? On me! Done. I need help here! Done. Got 
Guess not. But no, uh, no consoles that we can read in the research section of the lab. No idea what they were researching here. Let us hope whatever experiments were going on here are not running loose. Which I suppose makes sense because they're going to rinse and repeat, recycle this entire, um, this entire design. Last mistake you'll make. Oh. Here we go. Oh man. Well, I mean there would there should be a data slate there. I don't see one. Okay, and we've uh, we've gone full circle here. Okay, we came up through there eventually. This is research that we just came in through, and I believe we explored all of this. Remote lab facilities are sometimes set up to engage in activities that are dangerous, illegal, or bold. Uh, Super Taram says uh, the data terminal provides some local scanner data. Thank you for that one, Super Taram. And Julian Z says, Hi, Ox, hope you're doing well this afternoon. I'm doing fantastic. No complaints from me. Okay, and these are all open now. But we've already explored them. Thank you. No, I don't think we explored this one. Or maybe we did. We should exercise caution. Things in here may not react well to bullets. No, this is all new. I don't think I got here last time. Wait. Did they have anything of value? Okay, I shot down into here. Okay. All right, that's it. Let's move on. Okay, that was the abandoned research tower. I should probably put these in alphabetical order or I'm going to get really confused, so. Abandoned research tower, we got Perk Magazine, uh, Planetary Data, 
loot, no lore. Okay. Uh, spaceship debris at the bottom. Scientific outpost above that. The abandoned stuff at the top. Let's put that up there. Deserted. Deserted. Forgotten. Now that's going to go cave. After A. There we go. Art Pixels says, hope you had a good Thanksgiving, Ox. Enjoying your videos as always. Did you ever find the drilling rig in the frozen biome? I never did. This is my attempt to methodically go through all of the possible randomly generated, statically decorated um, locations in the game to find the gems, to find the ones that are really interesting. So far, we've been mostly disappointed. I think we found one lab uh, that was really interesting that told the story about... Um, uh, uh, scientists doing experiments on plants to create a hallucinogen, uh, a hallucinogenic, and then this guy goes crazy and has a dream about being devoured by a snake. That was a fun one, but everything else was kind of randomly generated. Uh, Gopher Vinny on Twitch says, Most bases I've found just have a skill magazine and an end of dungeon crate. Yeah, I mean, that's the same here. That's been my experience as well. However, we do know that there are some really interesting locations, gems that are rare to find, and I'm trying to find those. Uh, but it does mean we're going to have to go through a lot of sort of just randomly generated stuff that isn't that interesting, which is why I'm keeping my list. I'm hoping that if I can make a list of all of the ones that we discover, the next time we go to a planet, if we find one where we've been before, we'll know what was on it to see whether or not we need to go there again. The Wiz says, hey, Ox, how's your day going? It's going very well, The Wiz. Good to see you, my friend. Okay. So, we are getting through this system. We explored the abandoned research tower and the abandoned mine. I believe we fully researched Shaola. We fully researched Voss, and we went to the star station. That was interesting. Uh, Howley. We haven't been to Howley yet. Let's check it out. Okay, we've got a deserted relay station and an industrial outpost. Have we been there? Deserted robotics lab, deserted US listening outpost, no deserted relay station, and no industrial outpost. So both of these are new. Let's pick one. Industrial Outpost. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not a ship. It's a shipping crate. Man, what happened here? No fauna, no flora. Since our ship is so huge, even be... without life, there is the potential for beauty. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. Ooh, is that a ruin? No, it's just uh, built around a bunch of rocks, 
which makes it look like a ruin. That's structure, cave. There it is, industrial outpost. Cave, structure. All right, well, let's go to the, ooh, there's another one. Structure. Let's go to the industrial outpost. Dude. I got work to do. This cargo's not gonna haul itself. I'm glad someone came along. We could really use your help. We've had a bit of a problem with pirates around oh. here. They say the Crimson Fleet. Okay. Think you can take them out? We can't take much more of this. They're not far. They will be met with swift, extra-legal justice. You have my word. I knew it. We can't thank you enough. Okay, pirate activity. This is very similar to the really interesting lab that we found. Defeat the Crimson Fleet Pirates in the abandoned industrial calm. <laughs> that was <clears throat> quite a leap. Yeah, my ship was too big to land on the landing pad. Well, let's finish exploring this industrial uh, lab or whatever this is. So, okay, so we don't have enemies. We have a quest, but it's a, it's like a radiant quest. It's not a real quest. It's go here and kill these guys. Super Taram says, I read er Eridani 2 is identical to Reach a la Halo. Really? Eridani 2 is, is a Reach reference, a Halo Reach reference. Well, lots of little guys walking around here. Yep, and just like the last one, we've got a control console, or we've got uh, a mission board. Oh, this is a control console. The cargo link is not currently active. But we can get a mission board from here. Thankfully, the Starborn landed far away. I don't feel like walking over I to talk to I don't stock them. any luxury goods, just the basics. It's a miracle that none of this equipment's crushed me to death yet. How do you like this job? Eh, it's fine. Better than most gigs you can get on parole. The foreman's kind of an ass, though. Guy thinks he's tough because he's ex-military, but he wouldn't last a week in Neon. How long is your crew of working out here? The crew's been at it for about six months. It's the longest contract I've worked by far. It's tough, but we're sticking with it. Arkmite gives great bonuses to contractors who stay through the end of a job. If you have credits, I have merchandise. Let's see what she sells. Cutter and an arc welder. Hmm. Black and teal. Directions to stash location. Huh. Abandoned gastronomic delight? Shipment? What are these? Directions to stash location. Report abandoned gastronomic delight. 
All right, this is just going to send me to some random location to pick up some minerals, and I don't want to do that. Recover the Grendel from the abandoned robotics facility. Okay, that's what that is. Goodbye, friend. Gastronomic delight from orbit near Kurtz? Okay, so uh, buying those notes just gives me an activity. The Grendel is in a safe place in the abandoned robotics facility on Gunibu 3C. We've had reports of an abandoned shipment of gastronomic delight in orbit near Kurtz. No claims on file, so it qualifies as legal salvage. What is gastronomic delight? Is that a food that I don't recall? Okay, that's it. That is it for the industrial outpost, but let's go ahead and complete the little quest that they gave us. Um, there's our ship. Defeat the Crimson Fleet pirates in the abandoned industrial compound. Is that like on the other side of the planet or? No, it's one of the locations that we scanned. Can we fast travel there? Oh, I gotta walk there first. All right, time for a hike. Ooh, what's that? Oh, did we already do Grissom? I think we already did Grissom. Yeah, that's the De Deimos Armored Transport. So we did Grissom. Uh, we haven't done Gagarin yet. And we did Jemison, of course. Sensor contact? What was that? I don't remember what that is. Well, we'll finish up here with o Olivas. gunning for the foreman's job. Seems like a piece of cake. Your abilities are... Almost there. Ooh, I wonder what they're storing in here. Whatever it is, we can't loot it. Oh, we got robots. Victory. Hopefully they amount to something. 
Oh, it's that. It's like he teleported a little bit. I have an easier time aiming with this one than with the other scope. Never gets old! Just give up! Perhaps <laughs> not the way to <laughs> it. It helps that this is a low level place. Because there are lots of guys everywhere. Jeez. This is sprawling. Get him later. Hey, Blank. Blank! It's empty! Ugh! Why? Why do you do this to me, Bethesda? I just want to read your lore. Is that a glitch? Nope. That's the way we came in. Huh. Oh. Oh, fire. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were both racing at me. They were like, oh, let's get this guy. Who needs guns? I've got a a pickaxe. Expert locked. 
looks interesting, whatever that is, but I can't loot it. Turkey. Alright, no terminals that I can read. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Okay. Mercenaries get a break room. How quaint. Wow, I suck. Oh. Only took me ten shots. something up in there. What are we over here? Wow, I guy just keeps on going. Oh, boss down. Okay, defeat the Crimson Fleet. Pirate activity check. Winner takes all these different, is it not? Oh, okay, so that goes back outside. Looks like this entire facility is connected. Red. Logger. Yeah. Chunks. Ah, oh, yeah. The chunks. <laughs> I'm loving that update way too much. It's just I played this entire game, and it was really tedious to eat food because. I would have to find it in my inventory and manually eat it. And now I can just eat it lying about the world and it's great. The food and consumables are just, they did a really good job with food and consumables in this game. They feel real. They're funny and interesting. Okay. Now let's see, anything on the terminals? Ooh. Expert locked. It's a suppressed- <laughs> The- The gun is too big for the rack! I can- I can- I can loot it without having to hack it. Look at that. Watch. I could loot, it's too big for the rack, so it stuck out the glass and I can just loot it. <laughs> that was not intentional. Okay. Jesper Johansson became a silver ox. Thank you, Jesper Johansson. Barracks. Varun Scripture 9. Permanently increase sneak bonuses by an additional 1% and melee sneak attack damage by an additional 5%. Think that's it.
Right, so that was the abandoned industrial compound. And we found a perk magazine and loot. No lore. Let's head back to the industrial outpost. The Wiz on Twitch says, Good day, Ox. Kind of long. Sorry, this is a hint for all. If you use three chameleon armor, you can squat at red mile tables and clear all the credits as long as your warning bar is white. That stealth run at Ryujin Tower was a joy. If guards spot you, run to any corner, squat, wait. Unless someone bumps into you, you're totally invisible. Whole new level of stealth. Enjoy. P.S. Any weapon dealer with weapons set to owned, beware. Thank you, the Wiz453. Oh man, frostbite! I was barely here. It takes way longer than that to get frostbite. Construction's hard work, but it beats working at chunks. Those kitchens are a real horror show. What's the status? We won't be safe until they're all put to rest. There aren't any more pirates at the abandoned industrial compound. Not live pirates, at least. Thanks for coming through for us. Here you go, for a job well done. Thanks again. Okay. Okay, that's an industrial outpost. Industrial outpost. Radiant quest. And people. Now, deserted relay station. That was the other one we wanted to do. Haven't been here yet. Landing gear's ready. Oh, it's dark. It's dark. I have to land far away, and I've got frostbite. Good day, Captain. Dear Lord. But look at that view. Holy cow. Amazing view. Okay, what do we got? We got, uh, oh, here it is. Deserted relay station. Natural structure. Okay. Wolven Swede says, as harsh as people dunk on Starfield, there are legitimate criticisms on YouTube, and I appreciate those very much. How about you? There are legitimate criticisms. Uh, as I've said a number of times on this program, it's, it's definitely not the perfect game, and it, I think it disappointed many people for good reason. Um, there are certainly things to criticize about the game, but I, do al I also believe that many people are overly critical about the game, or at least critical about things that don't... They're, they're not bad. Like, it's um, it's definitely no Cyberpunk 2077 when it first released. And since then, Cyberpunk 2077 has become a great game. They worked on it. They sorted a lot of the uh, the bugs, and they made it amazing. And uh, this one, it, it had a pretty stable launch. You know, it's a solid game on launch, which gives me hope that it'll become an even greater game and perhaps become a great game given time. A deserted relay station. 
This looks interesting. into trouble, Andrea. Look, let's go inside. Oh, right. I cannot wait to kill you. Where have they gone? My watch just says, PAIN! <laughs> Alright, line up in this doorway, everybody. Come on, you know you can do it. Two more! Love it when they telegraph. No? I'm not gonna come out? Alright. I'll get him. And once again, we are triumphant. We're probably up there. Is that a calm relay? You're already dead. Mando Cool Cat says, uh, Ox, are you going to go planet by planet for every system? Some systems, like Beta Marea, have unique dungeons to explore, but they are spread out. Uh, yeah, my plan is to go system to system. Uh, are you sure Beta Maria has unique dun dungeons, but are, but are spread out? So what I gather from the way that Starfield does this... And correct me if I'm wrong, but from playing the game, this is how I think happens. There are some planets that have statically placed locations that are quest dependent. They are always there because a quest takes you there. There are some places that have star stations and ships and places that are statically placed that don't have quests that take you there, but are designed to be stumbled upon and give you a really long quest, like the ECS Constant, for example. It's always in orbit around uh, Paradiso, right? But for everything else, I think every time you orbit a planet, one or two locations will be generated, and sometimes no locations are generated, and they, they uh, select it from a list, from a pool of statically created locations that are in a database that they pull from to place on the surface of a planet. 
My, my thinking is that some of those are going to have some interesting lore. Many of them are just going to be dungeons to explore. And so if I can go through them methodically and list all of their names and explore them, I'm going to know which ones have any lore, which ones are just there with loot to loot and, and creatures to kill. And that's going to make it so that when I do find a planet that has something unique that I haven't seen before, I'm going to know that it's unique and it's um, special. And then I, I can save time in the future by investing a lot of time now. There you are! Meet your friend. Pain! Right, this is going to be locked with an extra lock. I don't want to deal with that. I am getting all sorts of uh, legendary weapons. Okay, we could go up. We could go down. Let's finish exploring this level first. If you show your face around here again. Did you pick? Found one. There we go. I think we're clear. Right. Down or up? Let's go up. Now that just leads outside. I feel like I've explored this one before as well. I think I found a station just like this on the moon. All right, there's a slate holder, but no slate inside of it. Yeah, I think I found a place like this on the moon, and then this is going to lead down to that uh, that staircase bathed in red light that we saw earlier. All right, well, let's find out. Yeah. And this just leads to the ground. Yeah, we explored this already on, on Earth's moon. We stumbled upon it in um, randomly, just by trying to explore something on the horizon. And I think uh, when you take out your scanner and you start looking for things on the horizon, the game will also automatically generate things based on that one pool of locations that it can pull from. Okay, so this was the deserted relay station. Deserted relay. No lore. Detecting a theme here. A very disappointing theme. Good God, are we going to get through all of them and find no lore? There's got to be one or two that are really interesting. Solo1 on Twitch says, Hey, Oxhorn, what's your favorite DLC in Fallout 4? Uh, well, for a while, for a time there, I would have said um, uh, the Far Harbor DLC for Fallout 4, which I still really enjoyed. But after playing Far Harbor again, I think I've decided that Nuka World, uh, despite the Raider storyline, is my favorite DLC for Fallout 4. Liftoff looks good, all systems normal. Right. Retro's firing. Orbit 
stabilized. Now, earlier, chat said they wanted to see me walk. Uh, hold on a second. They wanted to see me uh, run around with the adoring fan for a while. So let's go ahead and assign. Let's unassign um, Andrea. Let's assign the adoring fan. No assignments are currently available for the adoring. Why can't I assign? Let's unassign Heller. No, let's unassign uh, Sam. Let's assign. Why can't I assign the adoring fan? Guess I gotta land first. Guess I gotta find a place to land uh, before I can assign the adoring fan. Hmm. Okay, done, 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 done. Lavel. Hey, we got a trait. Crystalline crust. What does that mean? Crystalline crust. Oh, see this, th there's nothing here. So this is one of the planets that just randomly generated nothing. We found two on the last one and none on this one. So there's no point in landing here. I know that if we were to land here, it would generate stuff on the horizon, but that's not how I'm wanting to go about discovering everything. All right, so we did Bondar, we did Olivas, we've done Jemison. Oh, Gastronomic Delight is over there. I'm curious about that. Where's the, oh, it's, uh, it's on that, isn't it? Where's the gastronomic delight? Travel.
way more gastronomic delight in orbit around here than I had thought. And the last one. I'm just bonking at a space wreckage here. Okay, so what is gastronomic delight? Let's go to the cargo hold. Uh, is it, I'm assuming it's an aid? Oh, maybe it's in my inventory. What? It's not an aid. Miscellaneous? Resources. Gastronomic delight. Unique organic resource. This item can be used as a component in crafting. Oh, that's all it was. I just found a crafting component. Okay. Well, I need to go to the wolf system to get rid of all of my um, illegal substances. There's more of it. More gastronomic delight. That was around the, uh, around Kurtz, the moon of Jemison, which we already explored. Sensor contact, did we? Did we do the sensor contact? I don't remember. I think we did, let's try it. Um, well, I really appreciate the warning. It's our company's policy. Us friendlies have got to watch each other's backs out here. Safe travels, stranger. That's it? <laughs> That's it? <laughs> okay, what was that? Did I choose the wrong dialogue option? Okay. Why am I here again? It was like a sensor anomaly or something. Yeah, uh, there was a, a sensor contact. What is the sensor contact? Stop it! Asteroids are banging up my ship. Well, I can't see a thing because we're in the middle of a huge asteroid field. Could blow them all up, but that would take forever. That ship was probably the contact, says Deuteronomus. I guess. But I don't understand it. Like, what was the point of that? Gosh, huge asteroids here. All right. Uh, well, we need to do Gagarin, but if I land there, I've got, I'm gonna get in trouble. I've got to offload so much of my illegal contraband here. So let's go to the wolf system and to the den.
docking job there. Nice Sarah work. Is so excited. This station is but a shadow of its former purpose. Oh, while we're here, but we're landed, let's see if we can assign the adoring fan to the crew. No assignments are currently available for the adoring fan. Why? What am I doing wrong? I do not like it here. Do I need to be on a planet? I understand this station was once quite the luxurious place for I UC for you. military I hope commanders. We have what you need. Okay, let's uh, go to miscellaneous. No. What? Oh, sell. Sell, sell, sell. Miscellaneous. We've got black market antiquities. Harvested organs. Xeno warfare tech. Oh, and he's out of money. Crap. Ah. Based on what I see, I find that very hard to believe. Let's wait. What, how many days do we got to wait? Like three days? And Nonimo says, yeah, you got to land first. I did land. Well, I landed on a space station, but I guess that doesn't count. Kimosabi says, you may also have to unassign someone. I did. I unassigned Sam Ko. Two days, says Anonimo. Okay. Two days and one hour. You can do that. Okay, one more day. Man of Warp says, there goes Oxhorn, looking for a gastronomic treasure to wolf down. I do love my gastronomic treasures. Afternoon delight. Afternoon delight. That'd be a good song for Starfield. Sky rockets in flight. All right, one day or one hour. How good to see you. I hope we have what you need. Let's go to sell. Miscellaneous. There we go. Hello. Eager to help, if I can. You will be lost without me, but as you wish. All right, is that enough? Did we just have to remove her as a companion? Probably not. Yeah, I guess I have to be on uh, Jemison or something. Here's something we haven't done yet. The Etheria Ruins. Separation complete. Let's check it out.
destroyed Scavenger. Attacking me, but it was right. Red. Let's cycle that airlock and get aboard. Deuteronomus says the warlock was quest related. Vae Victus sent you there to Captain, kill a scientist. Do you require my assistance? Oh, that's right. Oh my god, Vasco, you are right in the way. Is this where I went to kill the scientist guy? Okay, all right. So I have been here. All green on release. We're free to fly. Is there anything else in the ruins? A particle turret. says, can you just take the ship? No, I don't have access to the cockpit. Uh, Alright, so we've got a particle turret here that doesn't appear to be doing anything. Where'd it go? There it is. could destroy it. Huh. Mineral deposit, another particle turret. Okay, so were those his defenses? I'm guessing when I destroyed Scavenger. The old den. The old den? Whoa, I didn't know there was an old den. What is that? Can I dock with it? can't talk with the old den Oh wow <sighs> Well I wish I could talk with it but I can't 
All right, well, I don't think there's anything else here. Uh, now, however, we haven't been to Pontem. Looks like there's one object on it, an abandoned research tower. Have we explored an abandoned research tower? We did, we just did. Okay, so it's paying off. We don't have to go there. Abandoned research tower, we've already explored. And there's nothing else here. All right. We can't land on the gas giant. Did we ever explore Thonia? Thonia? I don't think we ever did. But there's nothing on this planet. So that's it for the wolf system. All right. So we can cross the wolf system. Wolf explored. Bingo. That's everything. Project Journeyman became a Silver Ox. Thank you, Project Journeyman. Tell you what, let's go to back to Alpha Centauri. Let's land in Jemison, see if we, we can get the adoring fan. Man of Warp says, Afternoon Delight Star Vessels in Flight Contraband in Sight Ecliptics. We must fight. Well, tell you what. Let's see if we can actually do this now. Yeah, now we can assign him to the Kepler. stamina I have, but that is the plan. It's very rude of the universe to not welcome you with fireworks when you arrive in space. At a bare minimum, a shooting star would be nice. This is what you wanted? You wanted his wonderful dialogue for the next God knows how many hours? <laughs> All right. Well, um, we've done everything except Gagarin, but Gagarin has a huge city and a bunch of quests. I want to do them, but right now I'm in the mood to just explore. Now, I don't believe we've been to Talamon. At least we haven't done a lot in Talamon, and we've got a couple of things here. Let's start with Talamon 1. Question was, what can you tell me about Galbank? Have you heard anything? You understand who we are, right? Get off this channel. Let's trade. Not interested. Now clear out. Well, we have a piracy option here, but even though they're rude, I'm not gonna become a pirate. All right, let's take a look at Talamon One. Let's scan it. Oh, a big ball of nothing. No locations, few resources, no fauna, no flora. 
Well, we can check that off the list. Next, let's go to Talamon 2. Should we do the moons first? Yeah, let's do the moons first. We'll start with Talamon 2A. Set course. Some religions say our lives are circular. Well, I hope the next time around, we're just as close as we are now. Oh, thank you, adoring fan. Have I completed it? I have. So let's move to rank three. You can scan any planet or moon within 16 light years. You have a 30% chance to discover a trait when scanning. Wait, it's locked? Oh. Right, that's what we're working on now. Gotta scan 20, 25. Okay, Tolomon 2A. Scan it. Hey, I discovered a trait. Bolide Bombardment. But what does that do? I guess we find little... We, we occasionally get meteor showers with Bolide? But there's no locations to explore. All right. Well, let's go to Tolomon to B. And we can scan it from a distance. No trait that we've discovered and nothing on it. Wow, we're just not uh, lucky with our dice here. All right, Tolomon 2C. Scan it. No locations. Huh. Do you only get locations if you go into orbit? I'm starting to think that might be the case. Let's go into orbit around Tolomon 2B and see if we can actually find some locations. Going into orbit <clears throat> didn't uh, generate any locations either. Right, so a whole lot of nothing on the moons of Tolomon 2. Let's go to the planet of Tolomon 2. Project Journeyman says, Sometimes with Mass Effect was... Uh, sometimes I wish Mass Effect was like this. Mass Effect was wonderful in its, in its own amazing way. All right, so we've got forward base 441, but it's explored... I believe we came here for a quest. So that's everything. That's the Tolomon system. Wow, we're making progress. Tolomon. Explored. Boom. That was easy. <laughs> Didn't have to do much there. Right, well, uh, what's next? Cirrus and the Pup. Close by, and I don't believe I've spent much time there at all. Mando Kukat says some entire systems are uninhabited and won't have any locations. Tolomon was abandoned due to the terramorphs. Well, yeah, but if that were the case, you'd, if it was abandoned, then we would see destruction. We, you'd think we would find ruins uh, because of the terramorphs. Let's try Sirius uh, first. Hello, stranger. I just finished cooking yeah. up some food. Oh, you want to come on over? Just pop on by. We've uh, we've done Grandma's ran ra random encounter a lot. Switching over to standard engines. Sirius. Ooh, power from beyond. Sirius one. Hey, hey. over here. Uh, could you please spare a ship part? Our rookie here may have sideswiped an asteroid. Needs some repairs. Quick save. 
I had a good feeling about you. We just need a little. Two units of ship parts will do. Two units of ship parts? Let's explore all of his dialogue options. Uh, we could say, you must have me mistaken for someone who cares. Oh no. What are we going to do now? <laughs> it immediately blows up! Oh. <laughs> you don't give him the ship parts, it immediately just disintegrates in orbit. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> no! I feel so bad. Thankfully, I did a quick save. Let's, uh, let's load that quick save. See what happens if we choose the other two options. I had a good feeling about you. We just need a little. Two units of ship parts will do. Let's see what happens if we choose. Sorry, I can't spare the ship parts. Oh no. It's the same thing. What huh? are we going to do now? Okay, well I can't, I can't have that as uh, in my permanent gameplay. So let's reload that save and give him two spare ship parts. We can do that. I had a good feeling about you. We just need a little. Two units of ship parts will do. And this time we can choose, here you go. You're a lifesaver. Here, take these for your help. And we got 3,300 credits. All right, you see a longsword, and does it explode? No, yay. I had a good feet. Oh, and he jumps away. All right, well, uh, when we bolted into, no, that's gonna, hold on a second. All right, series three, gas giant, so the survey data is added. Uh, there's 3A. Let's scan 3A. Ooh, whoa, 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 here we go. Um, no life, but lots of resources. Uh, sadly, no locations either. Okay, let's try Cirrus 3B. Nothing. All right, Series 3 is out. Ooh, what's this? A ship. A ship around Series 2. Let's go check it out. Oh, I hope it's not like a Crimson Fleet thing. Anyone out there looking for a little wager? Quick save. It's the Narcissus. Think you can beat me in a race around that star station and back? You have to put up some credits. I don't do friendly wagers. Around the star station and back? <clears throat> we could say, no way I can beat your ship, or I have more important things to do goodbye, or get ready to hand over those credits. Uh, well, I want to explore all of the dialogue options for a potential lore video. So, uh, let's say I have more important things to do. Goodbye. Whatever. Whatever. And it jumps away. So, we'll try the other option, and it'll probably jump away as well. Think you can beat me in a race around that star station and back? You have to put up some credits. I don't do friendly wages. No way I can beat your crap. Maybe I'll see you around when you get a better upgrade. And it grab jumps away. So there's the star station. What does she mean by around and back? We just... I guess we What's just next on the agenda? Saving the world? 
Saving the galaxy? Saving the universe? <laughs> this guy. All right, and this time we'll try it. Man, I should be in my other ship. I'm not in the right ship for this race. Think you can beat me in a race around that star station and back? You have to put up some credits. I don't do friendly wages. Get ready to hand over those credits. Let's race! How much are you willing to put up? Oh dear God. 1,000, 2,500, or 5,000. Let's make it interesting. Okay. When I say go, we race around the station and back. Ready, set, go! I can't believe I get to stand near you, breathing the same air. I've got to have every molecule. I'm gonna win! I'm gonna win! I'm gonna win! I got this! Yeah! I hear Constellation has been collecting a ton of new things. Ancient Checkpoint things. one of three. Do you think people are starting to notice? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm so confused. <laughs> I told you you couldn't keep up. Now hand over the credits. That got it. I didn't realize there were checkpoints. Man, I'm gonna try that again. I didn't realize that it puts checkpoints and you just have to go from checkpoint to checkpoint. I, I went around it and I was doing really good too. Let's try this again. Think you can beat me in a race around that star station and back? You have to put up some credits. I don't do friendly wages. Let's race. How much are you willing to put up? Okay. When I say go, we race around the station and back. Ready, set, go! People are saying Constellation members have visions. Well, I hope all your visions involve kittens and Rainbows. Wow, shut up, adoring fan. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him this time. It's neck and neck. As the hero of Vectera, you need your own oh, comic no. book, your own Just cartoon, your own That's theme quite the ship song. You got there. We have got Take to these credits. Up. Adoring fan, you ruined it. Just talking over it and everything, but at least I did it. Stink and adoring fan just won't shut up. All right, well that made it easier. Okay, I just had to look for the blue icon. Howdy. Yay! I won! It only took me twice. Okay, Sirius 2A. Nothing. Let's try Sirius 2. Ah, finally. Oh, okay, we've got an industrial outpost and an abandoned MyBridge Pharmaceuticals Lab. Let's see. We just did the industrial outpost, didn't we? We did, so we don't have to do that. But an abandoned MyBridge Pharmaceuticals Lab, that's a first. I don't believe we've seen that before. I wonder if it's going to be interesting. 
Let's check it out. Parcel Star Parcel Freighter to Unknown Vessel. I have an urgent package, hoping for some assistance. The Star Parcel's fleet's got a load of these aging Deimos monsters. We've done this one before. I don't before. like tanks, but well past their warranty. It's gonna take hours to fix this, if we can get the engine back online at all. Kim Osabi on Twitch says, you have been to one on a quest. Oh, have I? Well... If, if that's the case, we'll recognize it. We can get through it quickly, and then I'll add it to my list. Um, I can try to help with the repairs. Sorry, company policy is only employees are allowed on the ship. If you step foot on here, I'm out of a job. I got a hot package that's paid for expedited delivery. They'll dock my pay if it doesn't get to its destination. Star Parcel will reward you well if you can assist. All right, uh, we can pass a persuade check to get more money. The paperwork involved in giving you anything extra is a nightmare. Oh, and there's a manipulation check. Let's try, I don't need this deal, I can walk. Feel free. Let's try, I'm getting tired of your attitude. I'm not trying to make your life difficult, you know? And I know there's a way to get past this. That's what I'm hoping. Tell you what, I can pay you some credits from the discretionary fund, up front. Best I can do. Send it over. Ah, excellent. All you need to do is drop this off to the ship services technician on New Atlantis. They'll take it from there. Thanks right. for bailing me out of this nightmare. New Atlantis, easy. But first... Let's find the abandoned MyBridge Pharmaceuticals lab. Gear looks green, ready to land. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am oh. dissatisfied with I should, the results. I should go get the, uh, I should go get the adoring fan. Add him to my crew. Deuteronomus says, oh, since you're jumping all over the place, check your payload skill. You may be able to get the next level of it. Oh. Thank you, Deuteronomus. Is it true that you destroyed the Crimson Feet with nothing but your bare hands and a sandwich? Well, that can't be. You so wouldn't need the sandwich. <laughs> Come on. Yes, infallible one? I'd like you to follow me for a while. Yes! How close should I follow you? Two meters behind? One meter? Less than one meter? <laughs> I just want to make sure you've got enough space, emotionally. My god, this guy gets too close, he's gonna feel me up. Uh, <laughs> we could say, try to keep your distance, please, or you can stay close. Oh, wow. If you insist, I'll try not to faint. <laughs> ah, Alright, payloads, payloads, payloads. Let's see, let's see in a sec. Um, where is payloads? I don't think I've done anything. There it is. Yeah, I haven't even done it yet. I should have done this a long time ago. Jeez. Are your scanners picking up anything? If so, where did they get the hands? How can I be <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, his face is nightmare fuel. Oh, oh, an annoying fan. What are you doing with your eyes? Oh, God. Just open your eyelids, man. Oh. <laughs> ah, it's terrifying. Okay, let's get out of here. Crap, he's going to be hugging me. He's going to be walking so close he hugs me. Oh, this does look familiar. Kimosabi, I think you might be right. One second. Uh, this is one of those things. I got to step away for just a second. I'll be right back. Thank you all for your patience. Had to take care of something really quickly. All is good. Rachel says, Hope hopping in late. Heard you were disappointed in your chunks. I'll tweet you a link to a different chunks seller. <laughs> also, have you been back to Mars for Hadrian? I haven't been back to Mars for Hadrian. I should probably go get her. Yeah, uh, Rachel, I know you came in late, but these are the chunks I got. Uh, they're smaller. They're not one-to-one -one scale, and they vacuumed... They vacuum sealed the package so tightly that it bent the cardboard backing, making it look, well, crumbled. Uh, but aside from that, they're fun. Project Journeyman says, that guy's a restraining order candidate. 
Yeah, yeah, if I'm not careful, he'll slip his hands into my back pocket. Solo1x on uh, Twitch says, Hey, Oxford, Oxhorn, is there any Fallout reference in Starfield? I mean, there may be, uh, but if there is, I can't recall seeing one. I'm not sure if there is or not. All right. Let's see if I missed any. Nope, and I don't think I've missed any. Okay, let's get back to it. to go. Well, it's small on the outside, but I have a feeling that it's deceptively small. Legendary Heavy, hey. That's gonna be fun. Tesla Bridger. Oh yeah. Gontro Dim says, feel free to hit the fan for some funny dialogue. I can hit him? <laughs> oh, something hit me. Strange that it seemed to, to come from your direction. <laughs> oh, you hit me. Your aim is immaculate, so I suspect something must be wrong with your weapon. Ow! <laughs> Were you trying to hit something behind me? <laughs> oh, you accidentally hit me. <laughs> I'm not sure what you were trying to hit, but I apologize for getting in your way. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, I'm not sure what you were trying to hit, but I apologize for getting in your way. Oh, that guy. This is hilarious. My God. You hit me! You, you never miss! Oh, I must have gotten in your way! Well, that's not a digi pick. Empty oxygen booster. Lots of empty oxygen boosters. Look at this, another one! An empty oxygen booster. Right, what experiment were they doing here? What was their research? Will we find out? Or will this be, like so many of the others we've explored, a bit of a disappointment? 
with no story, just loot. Hey, Ian Mybridge's computer. P wave analysis. Manual P wave analysis of the cave system indicates that there is a lot more to this place than we first suspected. The area beyond this cave appears as a dead zone, almost like we are looking into deep space, a huge deposit of pure nothingness. Nothing we are aware of has properties like this. I have a friend at Stroud who's into this sort of thing. I'm sending him my findings to see if he, if he has any experience with results like ours. Oh, is this an artifact site? Remaining staff, we've had to dismiss the remaining staff temporarily at least. They've received what severance we can afford to give as well as a promise that we'll bring them back once our company has a real product that we can bring to market or we secure funding from other sources. This isn't the first time they've heard this so they took it as well as you could hope. And Glunch. What is Glunch? I think it's important to remember that Glunch isn't a thing or a process or whatever. It's a state of mind. Sure, Glunch might be short for Glob Lunch, but really, it's a way of looking at the world. Glunch is the way that sad sacks and lazy idiots have eaten since time immemorial. The key to a good Glunch is the binding agent. Most of the time, you could use eggs from chickens or whatever those gooey orbs they eat on Aquila are, ew, to create the basis for a glob. Then cook it up with whatever you have lying around. Chunks of chunks, the remains of another meal, even gravel. Serve it between two slices of whatever refined grain slabs you have laying around and eat with a fork and a knife. We glunch, or the world glunches us. Right! Uh, I, do, I don't know if I've read that before. I kind of have a vague memory, maybe, of the glunch terminal. <laughs> what on earth? Oh, that's not the only lore here. I want to learn more about glunch. That's where we came in. There's no other door. I guess we gotta go this way. I do recognize this. And that goes back outside. Is that it? Is this it? I mean, the ad surely we can explore the big cave, right? There's a terminal entry about this big cave beneath with like dark matter or something. Surely we can explore that. Ah! 
like it. Back outside. Oh, yeah. Open door. <clears throat> Big Bud says, uh, finally giving you some love after all the fun I've had watching all your videos over the years. Keep up the great work, Ox. And that was Big Bud's first super chat. Thank you so much, Big Bud. I have no plans to stop. My bridge caverns. Oh. <laughs> Off he goes. here for an artifact oh yeah I remember this there was a different fauna here though right I heard that you're so far for you. There's no burden I won't carry. Okay, let's uh, give him some of our crap here. Am I carrying so many packs? Off we go to another adventure. keep going when I was here last time? Didn't it keep going that way when I was here last time? I feel like this is where we found an artifact. Not long ago. Maybe, you know, a month ago or so. Or do I need to go this way?
Yeah, it just does a big loop. Right. I, th I think they used this layout for one of the artifacts. But it was slightly different. Huh. <coughs> yeah, that's it. Accessible, come on. That so sucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. What have I done? What have I done? No. Oh, we're doing fair, are you okay? <laughs> I clipped through. It only let me go so high. And then I clipped through and fell. Adoring fan? You alright? Where'd he go? Did I lose the adoring fan? <laughs> oh. Right. Okay, so the the lore of this place makes much more sense in terms of the artifact location when we discovered it last time. The way it is now, it doesn't make any sense because it's talking about this void beneath the facility <coughs> and um, unable to penetrate it with their sensors and all of that. But there's no artifact in this one. So they just reused an artifact location, altered it slightly, and turned it into a randomly generated location to explore. Which is Greetings, land. Captain. Okay, well... Abandoned my bridge pharmaceuticals lab. Um, minimal lore incomplete. Really not worth exploring. Kim Osabi says the cave will always contain Scott Mybridge's body. It's farther in and has lore on the body. Does it really? Did I find his body in my previous live stream? I think I did. When I discovered it previously, I think I did find his body. I didn't find it today. Okay, so that's serious too. We completed series three. 
Let's try Sirius 1. And all we have here is the artifact. Let's go ahead and get it. But even so, the story of that place... Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Uh, the story of that place does make way more sense in context of there being an artifact beneath it. Sorry about that, I'm back. a very unique artifact structure. I like how all of them look very different. Temple Epsilon. Interesting. What will we find? Temple Epsilon.
Okay, let's see what we got. What do we get? Uh, Earthbound. Earth, the cradle of humanity, shares its gravity in an area of your choosing. Now that is interesting. Whatever planet we're on, we can force it to have Earth's gravity. I guess that would be would be interesting in situations where uh, we have no gravity, like when we're exploring a space station and there's no gravity in it. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Have to figure out a way to make uh, good use of that. All right, well, we got we got another one, and we didn't even have to go to uh, the eye to find it. All right, Temple Epsilon explored. And with that, we've completely explored the Sirius system. Now here's what I was interested in, the Pup. Strange name for a star system. Let's explore it. Hold on, let me cross Sirius off on my list. The pup. A mining outpost. We did a mining outpost already, didn't we? Uh... That was the last one we did, or when we first started the stream. It was a mining outpost. What was it? No, it was an abandoned mine. Now, according to my list, we have not done a mining outpost yet, though I think we might have done it previously in a previous live stream. Dan Borgel with a sticker tip. Thank you so much, Dan Borgel. Okay, let's try it. Landing site looks clean. Let's set it down. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am <coughs> dissatisfied with the result. Whoa! Well, this is an icy planet. There's the mining outpost. A hazard. That's it. I mean, I like low gravity. This gives us an opportunity to test out the earthbound one, though. If I can ever get to the ground. <laughs> All right, let's test it out. Earthbound. Oh, wow. That's interesting, all right. Ooh, and it wears off pretty quickly. Hey, this outpost is in the middle of a crater. Look at that. Project Journeyman says, AKA Sirius Minor. 
Is it uh, also called Sirius Minor? A natural landmark over there. There are people here. Interesting. What a cool location for a mining outpost. <coughs> Let me guess, you're gonna give me a Radiant quest. The soup, if I run out of gummy bugs, there is gonna be a riot. Gummy bugs? <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you like this job? It's nothing special, but I'll keep showing up as long as they keep paying me. It beats making my way behind a desk anyway. All right, so these are the exact same uh, dialogue options we got at the last outpost that we found. What have you got for sale? This is what I have. Gontro Dim says, you didn't even hesitate to hit the adoring fan. I've seen how you treat animals in the past. Horse punching emoji. But now you're abusing your fans? Look, it's it wasn't personal. All right, mineral survey, antimony, mineral survey, celiumite, report abandoned neon shipment. What would be in the shipment? Aurora, maybe? Stay safe out there. Update. Apparently someone else got there first. Nothing was at the location. Wow. I paid... How much did I pay for that? A thousand credits? I buy it and it, it updates? What? <laughs> what was that? How did it update? It's a static slate. Are all the slates connected to the internet or something? Warning. I am programmed to prioritize the completion of my tasks over the safety of nearby humans. Chad is saying I got scammed. Yeah, I think I did. If you're here to join our crew, I have some advice for you. Don't. I thought help would never come, but here you are. Spacers have been extorting us. Now they want even more. Things are about to get ugly. As soon as they show up, they board their ships and run. We need to take out those damn ships. You willing to help? Sorry about that, everybody. I, I had a handyman here at the house. That's why I was getting up and down because I was inspecting his work and I also wanted to do my live stream. It was It's a complicated day. I've been trying to do too much, but he left his wallet here. And so I texted him and tried calling him to say, hey, you need to come get your wallet. And he didn't answer. And he just now called me back and he's already back home. And like I told you, I live way out in the boonies. So <laughs> poor guy's got to come all the way back to get his wallet. I feel so bad. Okay, so this is another go kill spacers, but you know what? It might give us a, uh, a location we haven't explored yet, so let's try it. Thank you so much. Please be careful. <laughs> Destroy the hostile ships in orbit. Oh. Well, never mind. A little bit of space combat should be fun, though. All right, we've got a mission board. What the hell are you doing all the way out here? Watch your step. You don't want to end up on the wrong side of a blasting gap. You've got this. My back's never going to be the same after this job. Right. Let's go kill some spacers.
abandoned industrial compound. When did we get that? Okay, so mining outpost. Quest. Industrial compound, we've already done that, right? Yeah, we explored the abandoned industrial compound already, so we don't need to go back and do that again. So, let's go kill some spacers. There they are. Make short work of them. Shield. Their drive. rap drive is crippled. They're not escaping. They've lost rap jump capability. All right, that was easy. Return to the Demos Miner. <laughs> I mean, I am in a low level, um, a low level station, so. Go and tell them the good news. Ah. Whoa. I'm counting the minutes until my contract's up. How'd everything go? Did you give them hell? They've been taken care of. That's great news. Thanks for getting this done. Even with the risks. Here, this is yours. Wouldn't want you to leave empty-handed. Okay, clear skies. Done. And with that, we have fully explored this really interesting little planet. It's a shame there's not more here. How can I be of service, Captain? Okay. <coughs> My poor guy is coughing. All right. Uh, the pup. Check. Explored. Let's try something a bit further afield. So far, we've been exploring things that are close to Alpha Centauri. We explored Talamon, Alpha Centauri, Sirius, and the pup as well as Wolf. But let's uh, let's go far away. Some place we haven't been to. This is level 30. That's as far west as we can go. What's that? Van Main Star? Ooh, that's hard to see. I almost missed that. It's only level 10. Van Mainen Star. Let's see what's there. Wow. There we go. Super Teram says, have you been to the Crucible on Sharbitus 3? That sounds familiar, so I'm gonna say yes. Van Mane Star. Okay, not much here. One planet, no moons. Let's scan it. Wow. Wow, all right, no. <laughs> Van Manen 1, nothing. Nothing. Well, it's Van Manen 1. Presumably that means there's a Van Manen 2. But no, I only see one planet in orbit. Deuteronomus says the Crucible was the quest with FDR, right? That sounds familiar. Yeah, I did the FDR quest uh, with... Um, um, where we got uh, Amelia Earhart. Okay, well, we've explored it. 
I guess we'll cross Van Manen's star off the list. Van Manen's star explored. Nothing there. Well, that's what I get for trying to go far off. Let's go even further. Let's go far, far away. Uh, let's just, let's, how far can we go? Way over here. Look, I can't even reach these. They're way so far away. Let's go as far as we can. What's this? Fermi. Is in Fermi Paradox? Level 75. Let's try it. I'm getting all the artifacts without even trying. Go ahead. Try oh. and run. We have disabled their shields. Target scrap charge has been dumped offline. Ooh. <laughs> I just about died there. Good God. Let's take a look at Fermi. Wow, there's a lot to see here. Wow, we're going from all the extremes, from a, a, a star system with only one planet to this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten planets. Twenty moons. I think I'm going to be here for the rest of the stream, guys. This is going to be the, <laughs> the rest of the broadcast. Holy cow. All right, so we got the power on the planet itself. Let's do the moons first. There's Fermi 3B. There's Fermi 3A. Traits. Bolide bombardment. Again? Another bolide bombardment? All right, well, there's no locations on that moon. So let's try Fermi 3B. Oh, nothing on the moon. Well, this would be a great system for creating a bunch of colonies because uh, you could get resources from all the moons and stuff, and uh, you wouldn't need an interstellar mining depot in order to get everything sent to your primary colony. So let's try Fermi 3. Vanadium, benzene, iridium, alkalanes, argon, uranium, iron, and water. Three traits, none of which are discovered. And there's the scanner anomaly. All right, we'll just get another artifact power. Why not? Let's put this bird on the ground. There is nothing like that smell when you first leave the ship. Greetings, Captain. Is there a leaving the ship smell? I didn't... Ooh, pretty planet. I love the moons. Anomaly. 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 Structure. Anomaly. Oh, oh, we're getting close. Anomaly. Is that our destination? No. 
it's gonna be somewhere over here. Ooh. Oh, crap. Okay, not too bad. I mean, that looks like a big temple. I mean, that could be. Yeah, let's go that way. I think that's it. Super Taram says planets and moons with three dots have landmarks slash points of interest. All right. Yeah, this is it. Temple Gamma. I am hurting here. Oh. I'm on the wrong side. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. Okay. Wow. game. Boost around to hit the sparkly.
What'd I get? What'd I get? What'd I get? What'd I get? Uh... Create vacuum. Oxygen fuel of humanity is withdrawn from a localized area at your command. So I could suffocate people? Well, it doesn't seem to affect me, which is good, but I wonder what it does against enemies. I suppose there's only one way to find out, and that's to try it out. did that to me. I can hardly believe it. Okay. Fermi 2. I'm sorry. Fermi 3 explored. We've got a couple of moons here. Uh, did we already do the moons? We already did the moons. Yeah. Fermi 3A had a trait. And Fermi 3B uh, had nothing. So, with Fermi 3 explored, let's go in order. Where's Fermi 1? Don't think anything's going to be here. But let's try it. Nothing. For me too. Nothing. For me to A. Nothing. For me four, for me three. That's where we are. For me four. It's got a trait, Priasmic Plumes. Fermi 4B. Fermi 4A. Okay, so that's Fermi 4. Nothing. Let's try Fermi 5. Start with Fermi 5A. Nothing. Fermi 5. Nothing. All right, let's go to Fermi 6. Start with Fermi 6A. Go to Fermi 6. Nothing. All right. Let's go on to some of the rocky planets. Fermi 7 here. Looks like there is something on Fermi 7A. A deserted ecliptic garrison. Hey, astrophysics done. Deserted ecliptic garrison. I don't believe we've done that. It's the 
doctor? Hello? Do you read me? Hello there, and thank you for responding to my hail. <laughs> it's been a long time since I had company. I'm Dr. Sola Banglawala from Mast in New Atlantis. I'm performing a geological survey of the settled systems as part of a field research initiative. I flagged you down to see if you might have any rare geological samples to contribute. Clell Big says, I never have what she needs. Yeah, I never have what she needs either. Uh, let's see what she wants. I can't thank you enough. I'm in the market for lithium, platinum, and vanadium right now. I'm not asking for much. I know they're hard to come by. Uh, I don't have it. Again, I don't have it. Rachel says, have you seen the Vanity Fair article about Fallout TV show out today? Goes over broad strokes. Main characters are a vault dweller, a Brotherhood of Steel knight, and a ghoul. Couldn't have guessed that. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing. I mean, I think that's a perfectly fine uh, way to start the TV show. Um, but no, I haven't seen the article. I'll go ahead and read it before my broadcast on Thursday, and then we can talk about it during Scotch and Smoke Rings. But thank you for that one, Rachel. I understand. Well, thanks for stopping anyway. I'm going to try my luck in another system. You might want to back up a bit. This old Junker's grav drive is a little on the fritz. Here we Fly go. safe! The best joke in the game. Coming right up. Sorry, this is taking longer than usual. So, do you have any hobbies? Last time we said plenty I'm a jack of all trades. This time, let's say, um... No, not really. Space travel keeps me pretty busy. Oh, a workaholic. I get it. I knew plenty of those at Mast. Personally, I have quite a rock collection. I used to spend my weekends gathering samples on Jemison. Maybe I shouldn't have let that slip at the office, huh? <laughs> That's probably why they sent me on this job instead of some poor grad student. <laughs> <sighs> so, you know the one where... You ever hear the one about the geologist in the music shop? It's a good one. A geologist walks into a music store and asks the cashier, Got any rock? The guy looks him up and down and says... And she grab jumps away. Brilliant. <laughs> well, that conversation gave my ship all the time it needed to finally repair. What were we doing? We were going to a deserted ecliptic garrison. Good to go for landing. You. I could stay here forever. That is, until you left. Then this place is dead to me. Wow. Hello, Captain. I could stay here for forever until you leave. Then this place is dead to me. All right, let's get uh, our unmitigated violence here. Another Starborn, wow. Structure. And something over there, and something there, that's a natural. Part of me thinks that I have been here before, a long time ago, because that ship on the landing pad looks very familiar. I think I might have been here before. And if I recall, there was no lore. I almost forgot. We need to spend our um, skill points. Astrophysics. 
There we go. To get rank four, we need to scan 50 unique planets or moons. Dear God. Just, just wow. We could get the next one of uh, geology. How are we doing on payloads? Uh, we're at five of 30. No, that's Starship Design. Where's payloads? Did I get payloads? Maxed out weightlifting. Oh, I haven't done fitness yet. Where was payloads? Starship Design. Oh, there it is. <laughs> No! Wow, I don't have 75% more of my maximum cargo capacity. These guys are beefy.
down I go! Jeez. Well, I guess I don't know what that power does. Does it mean they can't heal? Uh, it didn't seem to choke them out. It didn't really do much. The anti-gravity power that we got at the very beginning of the game so far is the most effective power that we've got. So I'm just going back to anti-gravity field. Specialized advanced AA. Oh, that worked really well. I don't think that's it. Varun Pain Blade, I believe I have one already. Remember this from when we explored last time. Oh, God, what? You accidentally hit me. You were behind me. What were you doing coming up in front of me? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, it connects here. Oh, I remember now. We have explored this place. There's not any lore. It's just a really fun. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> he tried to go outside there at the end. CMDR Sonax says advanced weapons do the most damage. All right, I remember I was. Oh, I was told. Um, I have completed my search pattern. I detected no hostiles in the area. I was told previously that uh, the naming conventions are actually off. that some advanced weapons are actually not advanced, that they might be expert cloaking as advanced. One more. I think that's it. All right there, adoring fan.
Okay, so I remember the layout of this extremely well. There wasn't, we, I think we did it pretty recently too. There wasn't any lore here, but there was a plethora of loot and ammunition. And I think uh, we came out there, right? Yeah. So there was an upstairs over here. And I remember last time I was bummed that I couldn't walk away with the with the ship. Grunt issue six. Ballistic weapons permanently do an additional 5% more critical damage. Yeah, I was bummed I couldn't take off with the ship. Okay, so that's it for the abandoned ecliptic uh, mercenary base. I can't fast travel while enemies are nearby. What? I thought I got them all. Who's left? Oh. Did you get him? No. There we go. Hey, stolen artwork. Oh, okay, what is that? Where'd he go? Ah, a face I never mind seeing. What can I do for you? How can I be of service, oh great and mighty hero? What have you got for me? Absolutely. I've been saving it for just such an occasion. A succulent. He gave me a succulent. This guy is useless. Back to work then. All right, hard save. And with that, I'm out of time. I know I've got about 30 minutes left on my clock here, but uh, I need to head on out. The kids are back from school, so I'm going to go take care of them. Thanks, everybody, for joining me for today's, uh, today's Starfield broad uh, broadcast. We got through a lot. We nailed off a couple of systems. We discovered a bunch of new randomly generated locations. We're well on our way to exploring the entire settled systems, which is my goal. Thanks for joining me, everybody, for the rest of this week. We've got Baldur's Gate 3 tomorrow, Scotch and Smoke Rings on Thursday. I haven't decided on a game to replace Resident Evil 4 separate ways with, so if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. Next week will be my charity live streams. You don't want to miss them. They're going to be a blast. I sure hope you guys can tune in for them, and uh, then I'm going to have a lore video for you for the weekend. That's the plan. Have a happy Tuesday. Thanks again for coming, and I'll see you again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.